Stephanie Dreyer with VeganMama.com and I am showing you how to make an apple pizza today. Yes, this is a sweet dessert pizza and I think it's perfect this time of year for fall with all the wonderful apples in season. I am really, really excited about this recipe. I've been serving it for a bunch of special dinners um, so far in the last couple months just to celebrate all the apples that are around and it really it really feels like fall when you eat this pizza. And it's fun because it's a dessert pizza. So, um, or it could actually be a snack too. I've served it as an after school snack because it's got the apples and the nuts in it and the sweetness. So it feels like a treat, but it's also got some hearty stuff in it. So let me show you how to make it super, super simple and easy to make. And I am, and for our pizza dough, I am using a puff pastry. This stuff is great. I prefer Aussie Bakery, it's dairy free, egg free and super easy to work with. You let it thaw on your counter for about 45 minutes and then when it's unfrozen, you're going to roll it out and stretch it into a pizza pan or any kind of round. You can even do a square uh, shape if you don't have a pizza pan or a pizza stone. Don't worry about that. So to start, you're gonna melt some dairy-free butter. I'm using Earth Balance today, my favorite. And you're just gonna go over your pizza crust, or your puff pastry, I should say, with the melted butter. And this is kind of like your sauce, if you will. You're gonna build this just like you would a regular pizza. This is a fun take for a dessert. I don't know if I have pizza that often for dessert. And I'm using cinnamon sugar. You're gonna sprinkle that on top of your butter. Mmm, smells so good. And that's gonna be our foundation. For our toppings, we're gonna use some very thinly sliced apples. And you're just gonna decorate it like you would a regular pizza. I'm gonna make it a little, since it is a dessert pizza, and it, it when you see how this bakes up, it really looks like a, a centerpiece for for art, actually, it just looks so beautiful. So you can get a little fancy with how you layer on your toppings. I highly recommend that because it does make a beautiful presentation. And this is one apple, so you can see you have plenty to go. I'm gonna do a little bit on the outside there. There we go. And then you're gonna use some whole walnuts, and these taste so good when they are toasted and roasted in the oven. So I'm just gonna add a few on there too. I like the big chunks. You could do the chopped ones too. And if walnuts aren't your thing, pecans would work really nice as well. Pistachios probably would work really nice too. I just thought about that. And the color with the green, ooh, that would be really pretty. So they kind of look like flowers to me, which is what I, I like about it. I really think that this is, it just looks so pretty. And then you're gonna add some shredded coconut. And I am using sweetened shredded coconut. Kinda looks like cheese for your pizza, even though we all know it's not cheese. It's so much more yumminess than cheese. And that is really all there is to it for the first part. So you're gonna bake this at 425 degrees in the oven for just 10 minutes. I'm gonna let that cook and then we're gonna take it out and there's one more last ingredient I drizzle on top um, just for a little special flair at the end. So let's pop it in the oven and cook it for 10 minutes. So after about 10 minutes, and you wanna keep checking this because it does vary depending on your oven, you're going to take it out and it's, oh, it smells so good. It is, you wanna make sure it's nice and golden along the edges, you can see that. and. The coconut is very um, golden as well and brown, as well as the walnuts. Smells like heaven. It kind of smells like apple pie, but it's not an apple pie. It's an apple pizza. So to finish this off, I give it just a little drizzle of some agave nectar on top for just a little added, we need a little bit right there, added sweetness, and you just cut it up and serve could serve it with a little scoop of vanilla uh, dairy-free ice cream for a little added treat as well. But again, this is a great dessert, but it also works great as a snack if you cut it into squares or wedges. It's a great afternoon fall treat for the kids and the family as well. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you will try it this fall with the bounty of apples available this season. 
And if you do, I'd love to hear how you like the recipe in the comments below. Please feel free to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my Big Mama YouTube channel below as well. Thank you so much uh, for watching and for more easy and healthy delicious recipes, please visit BigMama.com and give you one more look at this delicious pizza.